Hi, this is Dr. Karen Perkins, your happily ever after expert, and we are live at the Speaking Empire Speaking and Marketing Academy. And I have to tell you, I am so honored to be sitting here with Shelly. Shelly Mitchell, she has been our MC for this event, in fact, for the last event as well. And oh my goodness, anyone who needs an MC, you gotta talk to this woman. She is brilliant. She energizes the room. She's beautiful on stage. She, she's really <laughs> solid. And so, you know, you're good. And they, you need to call her. You need to call her. And I want you to talk about that a little bit, but <clears throat> before we do, I wanted to talk to you about your business. I know you're a mm -hmm. business coach, mm -hmm. and I'm thinking it's for women, but I understand that that's actually for a few good men. Yeah, yeah. And if, if mostly women. And, if you get, and um, so, sorry, Caleb just distracted me and walked by with all my luggage. So, my son. So my, I get to work with my son, which is really cool. So sorry about the distraction. I'm also an ADHD coach. Yeah. Squirrel. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm a business coach. I work primarily with women and a few good men. My target market, and I've done a lot of work on this too, because you know it's, you have to get into action and start working with people before you can really truly identify who you love working with and who you don't love working yeah. with. You know, uh, so I, what I found it is most it's primarily I would say. 46 to 55, and I have clients who are 72 years old who are starting an international global nonprofit right now. But primarily, I work with 46 to 55 year old women. It's not that I picked that, it's just what came. And they're usually, they were high level executives or upper level managers in corporate. They had I have clients who worked for Sotheby's and was an auctioneer for uh, the Princess Diana's estate and Andy Warhol's estate and people who've worked for Ted Turner before and one of my, one of my clients used to work for Trump. And then they, they decide at this time in their life, they're gonna go into business for themselves with their gift and their passion. We're gonna make a difference in the world. And then they hung the sign and people didn't come. And it's, they just didn't don't understand the business piece. They're brilliant at what they do. They are masters, they are the best in the best. It, of what they do. And so they come to me to help them, teach them anywhere from networking strategies to putting their website together, their brand, their marketing, their financials, their budget, their business, plan, all of the overall business pieces that they need. And I work with them on doing that. And also even people who don't have ADD, they become like they feel like they have ADD when they get involved in business. So I keep them focused on the right things. And that's what I do. And I came to Speak in Empire to learn how to speak and get my message out there so I could touch more people and now I'm in the family. Uh, you know, and isn't it wonderful to be part of this family? I mean, it's, uh, I know. It's, uh, <laughs> you know, it's, it really is a family. It and is. and I, I know that the first time I met you, it was like, oh, my sister. It was, and we both met on our same first day. Yeah. Yeah. Same first day. Mm -hmm. And we've been with them mm -hmm. for the same amount of time for mm -hmm. a while now. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of wonderful things they do. And a lot of wonderful things mm -hmm. they bring to us oh, as absolutely. as their followers, as their friends, as their family. Mm -hmm. And I was so excited when I heard you were going to MC at the last event. Mm -hmm. Oh, and, I was too. And then mm -hmm. I got to witness your brilliance. Oh, thank you. And it was just fabulous. And I would love to hear a little bit about your experience as an MC, but also what they mm -hmm. can expect when they hire you to be their MC. Absolutely. So I never imagined myself as an MC, but I was that kid who's been in the principal's office since kindergarten. Okay, so I have all of this energy and I want to share it. I need to share it. If you put me in the audience, I will cause problems. So they, it's easier to put me on the stage and get everybody excited. So my job is to keep the energy levels up and everybody happy and positive, like them over there. Yeah. <laughs> and in they, I've even been told I should be a comedian. I'm like, but I, I can't, I don't plan this. It just comes out. Um, I do behave when I have to, but it's my, I love doing it. It's my happy place. I enjoy it. I have done it in the past many times, but usually for nonprofits, uh, charity events that I put on, or I was the chair and it just happened to be my job, or for my own clients' events when they're putting on their events. But when they ask, they actually hired me to do it, uh, to keep the energy up, I'm like, oh my gosh, I get to get paid for what used to get me grounded. You know, it's cool. It's yeah. great, and and there's a lot more to it. And I learned a lot about events working with them because they are the best of the best. And
And because of that, my own events are better than they've ever been before because of what I've learned working with this amazing team. Yeah. And now since then, I've gotten offers to MC large events where um, Jordan Schultz has asked me to MC his event and he just did a $3.2 million launch in two months. And will hopefully be, this is my second time here and I just love, I love it, it's fun. Yeah, it's just fun. What would you give as advice for those that are trying to go at their own, I don't need an mm -hmm. MC, I can energize a room and present, what advice would you give them? Okay, so I do my own events, and like my first big three-day event, I don't remember much other than I felt like my hair was on fire and I was screaming on the inside, right? Because it's much different being in events, being an event, than doing your own, where your own checkbook is on the line and you're paying for everything and you're also selling you need an MC but just having someone cute and bouncy being an MC is not good especially if you have an event where you want people to take action whether it's a nonprofit or you're a selling event you have to have somebody who understands the process and the psychological arrangement of the event who can position you as an expert and you're able to sell more, convert more, raise more money for charity. You really need somebody who's experienced and knows how to do that. So because I was on the other side of the fence and understood that being an MC was easy, but I would, I've had MCs before that just were outgoing and they didn't, they made it about them. So when I'm an MC, it's not about me, it's about the people I'm supporting, which I didn't think I could do because I'm all like, look at me, but doing that, it's, I'm so proud to do it. I mean, they're amazing. But you do, you need somebody who can, I don't want to say set you up, but can position you in a way, you don't have to worry about it. You can just do your thing, and it takes so much stress off of you, and it keeps your audience engaged. Well, and what I see mm -hmm. is it keeps the audience engaged, it raises the energy, as Absolutely. you said, but it's also giving you more credibility because you don't have to stand up there as the presenter and say, mm -hmm. look at me, I'm wonderful, I'm the best. You've got somebody oh, yeah, but the people saying, saying that about you. Look exactly. at them, they're wonderful, uh -huh. they're the best. Mm -hmm. And it gives and they you get that. to just do what they're awesome at. Yeah. Well, and then no yeah, bragging you needed. Awesomeness. Mm -hmm. And you, you need somebody that can do that authentically mm -hmm. and really make people shine. Absolutely. And, you know, it's really important that you get the right MC. And, you know, are there a lot of them out there? Yeah. And are there a lot of good ones? Yeah. There's a lot and of them so, that don't understand that this type of event, though. Yeah. And I think you can be a great MC, but if you're not doing a call to action, you have yeah. to be positioned a certain and way. And there's some good ones, but this, you gotta have the best one. Oh, <laughs> thanks. Yeah, My son said this morning, he goes, I'm not saying you're the best MC, but I don't know anybody better. <laughs> He's so cute. I'm like, thank you, honey. How much money do you want? <laughs> there you go, there you go. Well, want a new car? <laughs> what do you yeah, want? What do you want? <laughs> I am so glad and so honored to know you, to be oh, your I'm friend, to, to be at these events, to watch you MC, and I'm looking forward to going to your business stuff because I've not yet done that and I could use some help there. Well, we Please. have our event coming up, Destined Entrepreneur, Okay. and, and we have a website, DestinedEntrepreneur.com, and then my regular website is MyPersonalBusinessCoach.com. See, and I was going to ask you, how do they get in touch with you? MyPersonalBusinessCoach.com yep. my and the other one? .com, and they can get to the event from there, Destined Entrepreneur, and I'll also pick up a free weekly success planner, and, they'll, we, and you can use it in planning events, so awesome. it's all good. It's all good. Caller. <laughs> Thank you so much, Shelly. Okay, hug. <laughs> Aww. You. <laughs> we're just, we're sisters from another mister. I love this woman. I'm so glad you interviewed me. You're so, hey, that's my shirt. What are you doing with my shirt there? We met. Look at that. Just, my I boobs don't match. Sorry. That Sorry. <laughs> you can turn it off, darling. We don't talk about boobs on camera. No, this is good stuff, right?